Hey guys, and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today we are unboxing the 2022 Throne Spawn. So, last video we unboxed the 2002 one. So, 22 years later, we've got the pretty much exactly the same figure. Um, they obviously have redone it with different standards that we have today, more articulation and that sort of thing. So if you want to go back and watch the 2002 one, then I'll leave it up here for you and then come back and watch this one or you can watch it afterwards. But in this video, we are going to be comparing the two. So yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting to see how the McFarlane figures have changed in 20 years. So without further ado, let's get him out of his box and check him out. So obviously straight off the bat we have this really retro looking box. Now I've heard people criticise it but I actually really like it. I think it stands out amongst all the other ones. Also this really cool picture of Spawn here. I don't think this is from the comics. I think this is like somebody's original artwork on the side. And then we've just got Spawn on the side there as well as kind of a top that you can look down. 14 plus if you're wondering. And there's the bottom. Now I'm kind of holding out for the back because man look at this. This is amazing. I almost wish they had given us an art card or just something that wasn't the back of the box so that you could have this as well because yeah obviously you don't really want to display that but yeah I think that's awesome like just look at that. Absolutely amazing. So anyway I'm just gonna get him out here really quick. Um, I actually struggled to get him out here for a bit so I sped it up. Um, yeah, he didn't want to come out, but eventually got him and there we have everything so yeah, really cool um, I'm pretty impressed I guess by the way that it looks just uh, off the looks here and Yeah Super cool. So this was a bit weird. There's a piece of paper or card I should say on the back That's like just there for some reason. Don't know why. I guess it's to support the back. Maybe I don't know but let's have a look at his throne. So in this it says that his throne is like a garbage throne and you can absolutely see that. Uh, not a lot of colours and details and stuff. Well there's plenty of details but just not like any colours which kind of makes it all blend together unfortunately. And this is just the tip of the throne. This looks very cool as well. Love this skull that came out really really well. But yeah as you can see the rest kind of blends in. And now I'll just get his cape out. So with this one he actually just has a little like half a cape or not even half a cape it's like a quarter of a cape it's just the shoulders and the collar but I actually really like it. Um, they could have given us a full cape I totally agree with that but I actually really like the short cape um, just you know something a bit different. So yeah we'll just get spawn out of his box and I, I kind of didn't realize that the plastic came off from the cardboard and his stands on the back here and I, I really wish they hadn't done this like put the stand on the bottom of the box um, I could see like myself as a kid if I had gotten this when I was a child obviously it wasn't out but if I had gotten this I would have used this backboard to uh, to kind of display him or something because it's a wonderful like backboard of the green fire so anyway just putting the throne together that's basically it and yeah you can see all the details in here but nothing really stands out and probably a wash or a dry brush or something would have really really made it a lot better so we'll just put his cape on as well so it just slides over the top of his head and then it's got like a, a pin that goes in the back just a plastic pin and yeah it's pretty pretty simple um, and it holds in there like really nice so that's good and then yeah he just stands like that and he does stand really well uh, without the stand supporting him so it's good to know I think he looks really cool with his little quarter of a cape um, I shouldn't have actually put this on because I wanted to check out the articulation so I also wanted to show like how easy or hard it is to get the cape off. A little bit of a struggle, but not too bad. I didn't think it was too bad at all. So let's check out his articulation, because obviously 2022, it's all about the articulation. And I must say, this head sculpt is incredible, but I'll talk about that a bit later. Also, look at this. I love this shoulder joint. 
this is really really good work like I really like that shoulder joint um, I will say all of the pieces do feel a bit brittle but after kind of playing with him on my desk for a bit because he's been sitting there after I filmed this I think that these are gonna last I was a bit worried at first I thought oh no these are like really brittle they might break kind of like the uh, samurai spawn ones did but I think that it's gonna last I really do think that it's gonna last not that I'll be playing with it probably too much but yeah just so much articulation got a nice booty on him as well um, yeah all the like major points have got double joints so that's really nice these ones were really stiff um, you do have to apply a bit of pressure to get them going and this foot I think there might be something wrong with mine as you can see it's kind of like on a really weird angle and I must say these feet look atrocious I don't know who had final say on these feet but man they do not look good but yeah that's basically all the articulation for him and there's one other thing I wanted to check out so this is how he looks sitting in his throne obviously we'll take a better look in a bit but the artwork here as you can see kind of doesn't look like that I will say he does sit down kind of like with his uh, hips further forward but yeah you can't really get him into that pose unfortunately but anyway guys hope you've enjoyed this look at him and I'll leave you with the showcase and then be back with my final thoughts All right, guys, that has been our look at Throne Spawn from 2022. Let me know what you think of him down in the comments, if this is one you've picked up. For me, well, let, let's actually uh, compare him to the original. So the original from 20 years ago is absolutely fantastic. Like, there's no doubt about it. That one is a holy grail, and I'm going to say a work of art. Like, it is incredible. This one is, you know, the same. However, it's more of an action figure and it's made with today's standards, which while they give us a, still quite a decent amount of details, you know, it, it's never going to measure up to that one. That one is just incredible. However, I will say that I am quite impressed by this. The way that people have been talking about these newer figures, and I get it, like, they're not like the old ones. They're not like an incredible work of art. They're not as detailed and they have a lot of articulation which does take away those sort of details that we once had. However, I am really impressed by this figure. I think that, you know, while it might not be a work of art and there's definitely things that need to be improved, 
the face sculpt for one is incredible. You can see like his teeth coming through the mask and it's pretty crisp. I also love the indented eyes like man they are incredible and the way that they've done the green on the eyes that is like spectacular. I love that. And most of the time like you can't see the green of his eyes so he kind of just has like this darkness around his eyes um, from different angles and it just works really well and with all the articulation like I really like it and I can see like if you had picked up the old ones um, as a kid you would have been somewhat disappointed that they didn't have the articulation and this one just has all the articulation in the world like this is perfect and yeah you know the only downside to this one, I think he needs like a weapon or something with him just to kind of make him feel more like an action figure rather than something that you want to put on your shelf. Um, just, I think a weapon would have been good. I know a lot of people complain about his cape being short, but I actually really like the short cape. I think, you know, it's a bit different and instead of getting the same old cape that we get, we get a little short one and, you know, it's kind of nice. I think that the figure of Spawn is, yeah, really cool. The one thing that they probably could have done better on him is real chains. Like, that is all this figure needs is just real chains. I don't like the way that they've done the chains on this. They're too thick. The paint seems to be like they added like an absolute ton of paint on him and, well, on the chains. And, yeah, it just, it doesn't look good. So, real chains, I think... If we had real chains on him, I reckon, yeah, he would look incredible. Um, but yeah, so obviously there are some, some things lacking, which is unfortunate. But overall, I am really, really impressed by this. Um, it's my first one into the newer stuff. Um, I've got most of them. Some of them I don't actually want. So we're not going to be looking at all of them. But I've picked up most of the ones that I do want. And yeah, so next time I think we'll look at the new Violator and see what he's like because I don't think he's got any flaws about him uh, but we'll see we'll see next time so make sure you do subscribe if it's your first time here so that you can keep up with all my videos I'm putting out please leave me a like uh, it really helps me out and gets this video to more people more collectors like yourself and uh, yeah leave me a comment I'd love to know if you picked up this figure or what you think about him and uh, yeah I'll see you guys on the next one.